Hello, my name is Jason Rutter with Juniper Networks Worldwide Education Services. Today I'm going to talk to you about using the ELS translation tool. If you're not familiar with or you haven't used ELS, you're probably wondering what ELS is. Well, ELS is short for Enhanced Layer 2 Software, and this is a common Layer 2 CLI and Layer 2 software stack used on EX Series, QFX Series, and MX Series products. Juniper Network's initial foray into Layer 2 switching was with the MX Series product line. The MX Series product line serves as a service provider gateway device with a lot of Layer 2 services used by service providers providing services to enterprise customers. Later, Juniper released the EX Series product line aimed and geared more towards enterprise customers. Because of the different audiences and different times, there were a few differences in the CLI between the EX series and the MX series. Well, ELS takes the best of both of those worlds. Code, CLI code from the MX series and the best code from the Layer 2 of the EX series and combines them into this common Layer 2 CLI. If you want to know more about ELS, the link on the screen is the Getting Started Guide and provides you with versions of code that support ELS, devices that support ELS, and the actual differences in the CLI code. But today we're here to talk about the translator tool. A translator tool is a tool that could be great if you're doing some sort of migration from the older code to the ELS style code. So let's take a look at what it looks, the tool looks like. You will need a Juniper Networks customer support login to access the tool. Currently the tool is on ELS translator version 1.0. You will see a note here stating that it's possible script may not translate correctly. So please review the outputs. Um, I have noticed as I've used the tool, you know, version 1.0 certainly does not cover all of the ELS changes. However, it covers some of the main changes. And if you have a large number of interfaces um, where you've set the port mode or you have a large number of Layer 3 VLAN interfaces, this could be a great tool and, and save you some time. So in the tool, you have two ways to input CLI. You can either paste code directly into the window here or you can use the choose file button and upload an actual configuration file that you have saved on your, your your local device. Make sure you choose the correct radio button EX, MX, or QFX and then you merely hit the translate button. So let's see this in action. My terminal window I have two sessions open. One to an EX4200 which uses the older style of code and my EX4200 is running 12.2. I also have a session open to an EX4300. My EX4300 is running code 13.2x50. So the idea here is that I am migrating from my EX4200 to an EX4300 and I need to update my code to match the ELS style of code. So I'm going to use the show pipe find interfaces command. That'll take me to the point of my config that is relevant to me for translation. I'm also going to use the pipe no more command so that I do not have page breaks, which could mess up my cut and paste, because I plan on um, using the cut and paste style of translation. I've also used pipe display set. As you know, this will give me the output and set commands. Now this is not a requirement. It's completely optional. However, the output from the translation tool will display will give set commands. So for consistency and because it takes up less screen real estate, I'm going to use the display set command. So here we have the set commands for my relevant part of my configuration. I'm merely going to copy those. Come over to my translation tool and I will paste these into the translation window. And we have the EX radio button selected, which is correct, so I will hit the translate button. And we're immediately presented with ELS output. So you will notice there are three colors of code. Blue indicates there was some sort of translation made, and if you hover over the code, it will actually tell you what that change was. So here we see that the port mode was changed to interface mode, because ELS code uses interface mode 
right here instead of port mode on the older style. Um, if we look at hover over our STP, we can see that the interfaces actually had the layer 2 ILFLs, IFLs removed. So instead of using GIGI 006.0, ELS code uses GIGI-006. Black indicates that there were no changes between the old style code and the newer ELS style code. And then we have red. Red indicates that this is not yet a supportive feature in this version of the translation tool. So in this case, .1Q tunneling is not supported. If you want to see what is and isn't supported, they actually have a supportive features link for the ELS translator over on the left side. So let's copy the code that we know is good. And we will paste this into our EX4300. And since it's using set command, you just have to click paste. So it enters our set commands. I hit return for the last set command. And we can take a look. So if we look at our interfaces, we can see that the interface mode, which w was formerly called for, formerly called port mode, is now called interface mode. Um, we see that the, what was a VLAN interface is now called an IRB, or Integrated Routing and Bridging Interface. Also, glad I looked at this because this is something to note, and also this is why I did not use the system configuration in the translation tool, because you don't want to uh, mess around with your management or out of your management configuration. And in this case, we've actually added an additional management ethernet address. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I know that I want to get rid of the second address. And let's go ahead and do a commit confirmed. that appears to have committed just fine. So I see that I still have access, so I will go ahead and perform a second commit to permanently enable the changes. So there you have it, uh, the, the Junos ELS translation tool. I hope that you can find it useful in your day-to-day -day job, and I'm glad I was here to be able to demonstrate it for you. Uh, I've put the links back on the screen so you can take note of where you can learn more about ELS and how to get to the translator tool. Thank you for your time. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.